happening folks, it's Trust here and welcome to Independent Scotsman. In this video we're going to be showing you how to find the Cat School Witcher gear, which is underneath the passages in the Temple Isle. So the Temple Isle is the, the northern island of Novigrad, and as you can see it's in the northern tip of the island, but there's a special way you have to get, you have to go down the left hand side or the western side of the isle down a secret wee path. So we'll take you down that wee path right now. Don't do what I do and automatically I go to go the wrong way. You turn left as you go down the stairs just, just from the fast travel. Then you turn right, then left again. Down these steps and then you turn back on yourselves 180 degrees. Sprint all the way down here, past the wee guard, he marks the spot. And then on and into what it looks like a tavern sort of building. And that's the building that marks the special path. So you jump off the down into this like a little footpath. Fast forward as we get down here into the caves. Nahel in his eye. How to use it. But you need the Nahel in his eye artifact. You get that from Kira Metz. She's in Velen. You should get her close to the start of the game, you get that. So make sure you've done the Kira Metz missions, guys, or you can't actually get into this zone. But I'm gonna light the place up a good bit before we fight this golem. So golems are weak to the Dimetrium Bomb and Elementor Oil. So you're probably going to want either one of them or both if you have them. So commence Golem fight. Be careful. I'm level 17 as I fight this guy, he's 14. And he hits really hard as you see and he hits in big combos. So he can kill you really really quickly. I've got upgraded Axie and it doesn't do all that much to him. He's not weak to any sort of magic. So it's a skilled fight, you just want to dodge nice, use your Quen shield probably, probably your most effective magic. And use the Demetrium bombs as well. But try not to hit yourself with them, as I do here, because it stops you from using your magic. But we're just about to take him down now. Oh, he goes down swinging. And then take his heart out. Right, so this is quite a big room, and down to this, as you come in, it would be the door on your right. You could break the wall. That's a dead end in there, but there is quite a bit of loot, so you maybe want to check that out if you want the loot from it. But as you come into the room, it's straight up the centre. There's the, uh, the laboratory, but this door is actually locked the first time you come to it. Key required, so we need to find that key and progress past that door. So if you were coming into this cave, it would be on your left hand side, this route I take just now. Lighten it up as we go. Look to the depths to be lifted up. So that means the door, the lab laboratory door, which is at a higher point in the caves than this, the key is at a lower point, so maybe beneath, beneath this. Pause to read this, guys. Right, so they were experimenting on drowners and the experiment failed and the drowners died. Wonder why that note's lying there. Right, so that looked like some blood on the floor, but Geralt didn't say anything about it, so let's just continue to look for clues. Let's just dispatch this race nice and quickly. Die, bitch! Right, clue hunt, there's a lot of levers that we can use but we don't want to start touching them until we've found all the clues lying around. So mysterious notes, mysterious recipe, pause to read it. So that's a recipe for spiced chicken and pumpkin stew, I think that's just to throw you off. So we're going to have a simple and elegant guess at this and we're going to turn all the men to face inwards. So it took two turns for him to face inwards. 
So this is all we're going to do, we're just going to flick, flick, face him inwards, flick, 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 he's inwards as well, two for this guy, he's inwards, that one doesn't need anything, he's already inwards, flick, flick, and then this one needs another two as well, bump, bump, and let's hope something happens here, yes, the floor is opening up. Quality, simple guesses. So you want to turn all the men to face in towards this water, by the sounds of it. Oh, enemies? Maybe it's drowners like they were talking about. So we're going to equip a crossbow bolt and fight them underwater because it seems easier. One hit underwater as opposed to a few on land. Dispatched, nice and easy. And there's something down here, we've seen the blue. The blue shimmer and light. It's the laboratory key. So we're going to go back to the laboratory. So the laboratory door should now be open to us. What is beyond it? No good, no evil, only pain. No good, right. no evil. I don't know if you can see his name because it's very small. But it's actually Mad Kian. So let's see just how mad this guy actually is then. You'll never learn. So we've got a Quen shield active. And we're just gonna overuse Axie as we always do. Because it's easy. So that's him down. And he has four pieces of the Witcher gear. He has all the armor. So when you've looted his body and you've got all the witcher armour, be sure to check the rest of this room guys, there's quite a few chests and the loot inside it is quite good. As you can see the chests are pretty full. But we are going to read this letter, so pause to read these notebooks guys. Right, so we're looking for the flying stag that that mad Kian summoned a storm to make it crash on the rocks. So it should be above sea level, we don't have to go diving, it should be on the rocks of this island over here. But he was also talking about um, how he's subdued a witcher with Milka the Poppy. He's trying to subdue and control a witcher. So we need to find out about that. But here is the flying stag on the rocks, as the note had previously said. So you want to come round to this side of it, I tried to go the other side but you can't actually get out the water, I spent about 10 minutes trying to get out the water, but you can't, so come this way and get the witcher gear from the chest. And pause to read these notes as well. That was one of the mages notes who was obviously travelling with Cain. He spoke of a one-handed crossbow at Ace Taya, which is just up here to the right of uh, where you meet Vernon Roach. So when you come up to Ace Taya, you want to go straight through where all the people are standing and right down the hole at the back. Just be careful guys because it is quite a big fall if you, if you don't do the steps properly. And when you come down here, you can use your witcher senses or you can just notice the crack in the wall. Break the crack in the wall. And there's the, the last bit of loot. And it's actually a silver sword. I'm supposed to read these notes. So the Witcher was sent by a guy called Prince Adrian to kill Kian in his expedition to Estrella, but Kian fucked everybody over and um, he stole everything, including the Witcher, tried to bring him under sedation and under his own control. So Prince Adrian was at Dramir Castle, which is this place. So I doubt he's going to be here. So we're just going to come here for the Witcher gear. 
Check the chests on the way down, but the Witcher gear is at the bottom of the castle. There you go, Witcher Steel Sword. Bada bing. So let's go have a look at this gear that we've just freshly acquired. 5% of cause bleeding, 5% bonus experience, 20% bonus experience for monsters and 12% arc and sign intensity. 5% for almost everything and 20% resistance to elemental damage. Wow man, the stuff man. 5% attack power, resistance only 1% but it's a resistance to a lot of things. There's a lot of resistance in this one, 2 5%, 2s two and 1-1. One one. So that gears it. Rated for level 14, but it's pretty damn sweet. So enjoy the new Witcher gear guys, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave us a like and hit up that subscription button. I have been Truss, see you all next time.